Hey guys, it's Chega YouTube here. Before this video starts, I just want to say how my day went yesterday. And it was a pretty sad day for me. Uh, when I started that day, my dog passed away. And that sucks. I wanted him to leave my house. But I didn't want him to leave that way. He passed away from being sick and the vet's been closed. Uh, due to Thanksgiving, then the weekend, he got sick on Thursday. And that really sucks. And I just want to say that I'm okay. I'm going to continue recording and stuff like that. But... After my dog passed away a couple hours later, my grandpa passed away. He's a, um, he was a boxer back in the day. And the last day, last time I seen him, he made everybody chocolate milk. And then he made, um, my sister was hitting a speed bag he had set up in his garage or basement or whatever you want to call it. And then I think he was 96 years old hitting the speed bag faster than my sister was. He was a, I'm pretty sure, Golden Glove boxer. I don't know uh, that for a fact, but he was a good guy. So anyways, um... I'm okay, I'm doing fine, just if you're religious or whatever, pray for my family, because my stepdad, he was obviously his grandpa, and he was a really good guy, and I didn't know him very well, but I did know him enough to know what type of person he was, so... I just wanted to give a shout out to him because he he deserves it well anyways this is my first initial impression impressions on battlefield one multiplayer um i've been playing it a little bit just to you know get the feel of using the controls for battlefield and stuff like that and getting it set up so in all those games i've realized that it's very difficult to get a tank i mean extremely if you want to get a tank then you pretty much can't <laughs> i'll just put it that way i'm a i'm a tank operator another ground operator but anyways um in order to win a game just like every battlefield game there has ever been it's an objective based game and you gotta get the objectives i mean it's the only way to put that is you gotta work as a team to win and don't go for kills if you want just kills just play the team deathmatch mode or go to call of duty if you're that bad of a player and you know um i'm not if you play call of duty honestly to me battlefield is 10 times better of a game but that's my preference and it will always be my preference. I've played every Battlefield game. Battlefield. Um, all the old Battlefields. And now the new one. And honestly I really do love the online multiplayer. On Battlefield 1. I think they did a really good job on making it. Making it fair and not stupid and not overpowering the weapons and stuff like that. And I've seen uh, 
I've seen it when it renders up to YouTube on my channel. It doesn't look the best, but it is a very good looking game. And I just, I absolutely love Battlefield. They did such a good job with it. And the multiplayer is very good. The campaign is very good. It just, overall, I would probably give it a 9 out of 10. 9 because there's some things that can improve. Like, um, you know, like floating health packs and stuff like that. But that's to be expected on most games. Uh, they did a very good job with it. So, I give DICE very big props. It's a very good game. As far as, you know, um, when they came up with Battlefield 1, I was thinking they were going to make another bad company. Battlefield Bad Company. Because that was one of the biggest battlefields everybody loved. I loved it. Most people did. And I'm going to give you guys a little, a little tip. If you want to win, play for your objective. Don't go for kills. This guy got 27 and 3. Not me. But this guy did. And he came in second to last place. Because somebody else went like 10 and 2. But they didn't go for objectives. They just stayed in the back and sniped the entire round. And you know. If you want to get kills that's fine. Go to team deathmatch. Don't play the objective based game because you're not going to win and you're not going to, you're not going to go very bad, very bad score and your team is going to suffer because you can't, you can't seem to push an objective and take that objective and also there is squads and you know, you got your medic class, you got your support class, your sniper class, and stuff like that. And you want to heal every time you get the chance to get um, more points and just overall make your team-based game a better, a better game because you're actually trying to help your team out. Um, but I do know some people that go for the team deathmatch games and they're very good at get, getting kills but they're not very good at getting objectives so they just play the team deathmatch and that's what I'm saying they always come in like first or second place between the two and they always they always win because they're playing a game mode where your kills actually matter so yeah um we end up losing this match because of some people not playing for the objectives and i really love that dice does it it's one of the best features in the game that you can't be a little bitch and just stay in the back and win a game because you drag your entire team down. So to you all that just stay in the back and don't try to get any kills, I mean try to get any objectives, well, you suck. <laughs> Because you dragged me down. Um, but right here I added this little clip in. Because it was funny. I seen him moving through the windows. And then if you look down right there. You'll see his gun. So I just knifed him. And I killed him. 
obviously, but I'll throw a grenade right here. You couldn't really see it, but there's your there's your proof that I did. Uh, I got a quad feed from one grenade because they all bunched up together. This right here, I knifed this guy twice, and when you come up behind somebody, it should automatically just stick their knife stick your knife in their chest and kill them that that way um but i sincerely hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did drop a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't already it's greatly appreciated i will see you guys tomorrow with more content every single day and if you haven't followed me on twitter or Instagram and stuff like that, I recommend you do. See you.